this is Mr. Mobility. This guy, the Techno Phantom V Flip 5G, has been out since October, November last year. I have had this since November 2023. And it was released with Android 13 and iOS version 13.5. Techno promised two software, two major software updates for this device. And one year after I got this phone, Android 14 has finally arrived for it. In case you do not understand how late that is, the Techno Camon 20 Premier got Android 14 in December 2023, 11 months ago. So Android 14 is arriving on a premium smartphone from Techno 11 months late. It's crazy, right? But like we say, better late than never. We can only begin to imagine when Android 15 <laughs> will arrive for this device. Okay, so I want to walk you through. First, first, the update moved the phone from Android 13 to Android 14. It also moved it from iOS 13.5 to iOS 14.5. So everything I'm going to show, show you here is Android 14 and iOS 14.5. Okay, are we ready? Abracadabra, let's do this. The lock screen, nothing has changed apart from the dynamic island at the top. Yes, the dynamic island has now been added to the Techno Phantom V flip. And when you look at the home screen, nothing really has changed either. Nothing has really, really changed. It's, I can't pick anything. I have looked at the icon, shapes and sizes. It's pretty much the same. The drop down menu. The only thing that has changed that I, I can see is the color of these two vertical bars. It used to be blue on iOS 13.5. It's now white and that's all. How about the app drawer? Nothing new. I can't see anything. If you dive into the settings, uh, the home screen of the settings menu, nothing has changed. It's the same old stuff. But if you look about the My Phone page, then you begin to see what is different. But who cares what is different about the My Phone page, really? We don't, we don't live in here. We don't use this. So, as far as visual differences, uh, improvements are concerned, there is really, really nothing to look forward to. But, you know, I get Android 14 and all of the benefits that come with that version of the software from Google. You get to enjoy that improved improved security, improved privacy mostly. Nothing groundbreaking. Honestly, there is nothing really that exciting about the updates. It's pretty much more of the same. I was expecting, for example, that this cover display that has been mostly useless apart from using it to tell the time, you can't even read incoming messages, notifications there. You have to open the flip, you know, to read those notifications. Uh, Techno has done nothing about that. It's still as useless as it used to be. Instead, Techno says <laughs> they have added more cute pets. And I find it hilarious that a brand is more interested in useless stuff Okay, so Techno has added more cute pet options for you to use for, you know, the cover screen. I don't need cute pets. It's completely useless to me. In fact, if you know how to disable the cute pets feature, I have searched, I haven't found how to disable it. I'd love to disable it completely because it does nothing for me. It's just a waste of my time um, and, and my energy. We get the same old widgets 
for the for the cover display, nothing new, and they are really mostly useless. So the, the dynamic port has been added, and it's uh, it's good for unlocking the phone, you know, face unlock, incoming calls, when you're recording, charging animation, tips, media player, SMS verification code, and NFC. So anytime uh, that any of those features and functions are used, the dynamic port will kick in to action. It's cool, but not, not a big deal, right? It's cool. It's cool to have, but not a big deal. So pretty much, that's it. An update is better than no update, right? Some of you are interested in lock screen options and all that. I'm sorry to say there are no improvements to the lock screen functionality of this device. I haven't seen any since the update. The personalization options for the lock screen are still the same old ones that we had before the update. You can't do much more than what's, what's been there before. So if you're expecting more advanced controls from the lock screen and all that, sorry, I haven't seen any. That's it, people. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.